Thanks for joining us at the AI for Good Global Summit 2019. And today we are joined by Halil Amiri, his Secretary of State for Scientific Research at the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research, Republic of Tunisia. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for this opportunity. So obviously you represent the government here and it's important, isn't it, that you have a say and a seat in this multi-stakeholder platform because when it comes to AI and the mass deployment of AI, it's going to be a collective effort, isn't it? Absolutely. I think uh, AI has a massive potential to bring a lot of great impact in various uh, sectors, health, education, industry, public services. Uh, but at the same time, there are a lot of challenges to be able to bring this potential to reality and a lot of concerns from citizens of course about uh, uh, this technology but also a lot of challenges in terms of um, validating this technology for instance when it is used in sensitive uh, uh, sectors like health so uh, this of course requires a multi-stakeholder approach uh, government civil society experts scientists so that we can actually together uh, bring the potential uh, of this great uh, technological uh, revolution to uh, to society and to your buzzing startup scene as well in Tunisia because you have lots of startups that are looking at deep learning and and other areas of AI absolutely this is the point I uh, tried to make in the panel I participated in uh, in the uh, summit which is that um, AI is a force for good to achieve the SDGs but probably one of the best ways to help also the SDGs is to help raise the income of developing countries by making them also take advantage of the economic opportunity uh, that uh, comes with this technological uh, you know revolution and uh, that means basically taking advantage of uh, the demographic uh, opportunity what i call uh, the predominantly young population uh, in the in these regions so that they can also not only be technology consumers but also producers so i invited global tech companies to offshore part of their r d operations in countries like tunisia where this is a buzzing startup scene and a, a very performing research system so that uh, you know because also there are specific uh, specific challenges uh, local so it, we can be an AI lab also for development so I invited them to um, uh, not only think of uh, that part of the world as a market but also as a partner so that we together can deliver solutions and of course if we uh, uh, work together also that will help raise income and reduce uh, inequalities so it's another way also to achieve the SDGs. Absolutely, inclusion, ethics, um, all very important debates that we are having here at the AI for Good Global Summit. Um, and you have participated in sessions that are focusing on ethics in health, I understand. So tell us more about that. Uh, absolutely, I think uh, it's an area where also um, Tunisia has a lot of potential, where our continent, Africa, has massive challenges, as you know, uh, probably in some sub Saharan African countries, uh, the number of doctors, 400,000. Uh, you know, citizens is a factor of 10, a factor of 1 over 20 of what we see in developed uh, countries. So uh, this is already a challenge and with the 1 billion uh, new uh, basically uh, inhabitants of the continent, the African continent over the next 20 years, uh, the challenges are going to be only greater. Tunisia is a hub in terms of exporting medical services. We receive hundreds of thousands of patients from Africa and the region. Uh, and uh, technology and AI can actually help uh, improve the services, um, diagnose early, reduce stress on uh, already uh, limited uh, medical staff. Uh, you know, so there are a lot, of, uh, a lot of opportunities and a lot of potential. But at the same time, we cannot roll out such technologies without being sure actually of their impact. Uh, and uh, in order to test these solutions, we need to compare them to expert opinion of doctors. This requires that we have data that's annotated, uh, that's structured, so that uh, researchers can test against. And also later, of course, in the validation and rollout uh, and the clinical uh, trials of this, these solutions, um, which are increasingly complex because sometimes it's a medical device, it's also, uh, um, you know, uh, medicine and it's so it's it's not just it's a device and can be also administering uh, you know advice and also uh, uh, medication so this is quite complex and uh, uh, we'd like to participate in this dialogue we'd like to uh, we have a very performing research system in the health sector and also in IT we have 100 year old uh, research um, 
Institute, Institute Pasteur, where uh, we have a Nobel Prize, uh, Charles Nicole, who's buried there from uh, you know, early parts of the 20th century. So there's a lot of potential, and uh, we offered our help to this uh, initiative, AI for Health, that's led by the ITU and the WHO, so that we can help with this annotation and uh, the piloting, so that we can build these databases that are very valuable for uh, researchers, because they need to test their solutions, and we need to get uh, some doctors to be able to annotate and structure this data that is basically essential for, um, for uh, the early research, but also for the later validation of the solutions. Okay, Mr. Khalil Amiri, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you.